okay hi hello now let's see how to create a simple calculator in the last video i have shown or, or the basic beginner video for the how to create an app in power app now i'm going to show you how to create a simple calculator using the power apps let's see now i'm going to create a blank canvas app and i'm naming it as calculator because you are going to create a simple calculator i'll show you how to how to create a calculator like a normal scientific calculator in the future now i will show you for the beginner level i will show you how to create a sim simple calculator okay for the simple calculator the basic thing you need is two test input because you should get the two test input from the user and you can add addition subtraction multiplication anything you can do so the basic thing you need is two test input one one for the number one and one for the number two so now i am moving it to here now i am deleting the text as text input and here also i am deleting the text as text input now i am going to give an hint text enter uh, number okay now i am given and testing hint text as enter number so yeah enter number and also i am going to give here enter a number enter a number okay so i have made in two test input like enter a number and enter a number so the another thing you need is like and button button you need for on clicking that like if it is an addition button on clicking the addition button you should add the two values so that is the basic thing of the button so now i'm going to now i'm going to give an addition button I am making the font size bigger so that it will look bigger. I am moving it to 40, and so it is now looking bigger. So the I am going to copy it and paste it for the addition, multiplication, and subtraction. So yeah, see now here I am going to paste it, moving it here, and I am moving it here, and this one to here. Yeah, now we have four buttons. So this now this text all are same. So now we need to change the text to the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and the last one to division. So we can do that first. Now I am going to change the addition as subtraction and the addition as multiplication and the addition as division. Yeah. Now we are going to display our display our result as a text label so that it will be displayed down so see here now i am using a text label here for showing the result so this will be our result i am moving it here so and deleting the text and i am going to use another text label for the heading so i am going to show that this is the result so that i am going to use an another text label so wait i don't know where is the I'm changing this to result. I'm going to change this to result so that it will look like a result. Now, on clicking this, we should add the number one and number two. So I'm going to declare a variable as var result variable result. So see, update on text. The to the format of declaring a variable is update on text variable name. I'm going to declare a variable as variable result and text input text input 1 text input 1 plus text input 2 text text input text input 2 so these are the text input 1 and text input 2 so on clicking this addition button the values in the text input 1 and the text input 2 will be added so i'm going to copy this and, and i have copied this and i'm going to paste it in the, all these buttons so I'm deleting the false and I'm pasting it here. I'm deleting. I'm pasting it here. And the last one, I'm going to paste it here. Yeah. Here somewhere. Oh wait. I didn't paste it. Yeah. Now see, I'm going to declare this text label as variable result. So I'm changing this text as variable result. So it will display the result. And now I'm going to change this size as size is 35 so it will look bigger 
and I'm going to change the no it will look like normal and now I'm going to move this and this size as 30 I'm going to make it the result as big that there one so yeah now I'm going to even hitting as calculator so it will show you about hitting calculator yeah I have given an heading as calculator now I'm going to change its size as 40 so that it will be look, uh, looking, big, looking bigger now I'm going to change the boldness to semi bold so that it will look in like an heading heading of our cup so I'm pasting it moving it to here moving it to here and now I'm going to change the font size as some more bigger yeah now it's bigger so wait now we can see about how it's working now I'm going to enter an variable enter a number here and another number here now I'm adding it uh, see the result is 800 while subtracting this oh no this is oh wait 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 the main thing I forgot is I, I wanted to tell you is we didn't change the values so the main thing is you should change the values while copying and pasting it so yeah now I'm doing division here yeah and now also I'm changing the font this is 40 yeah Now I am doing addition, the result is 800, now the result is minus 200, now the result is 15,000, now the result is 0.6, yeah. Now this is our basic simple calculator, so you can, now I think, hope you will learn how to create a simple calculator using power apps. So in the future I will show you how to create a scientific calculator or any, like a normal your mobile calculator. So now this is the basic of simple calculator. Okay. Now we can just simply add a background design for for looking uh, better. Right. I am going to use a rectangle for the background. So I am going to stretch it all over the screen. Now I'm, yeah, bring it to center and I'm giving a mild color, very mild color, so that it will be looking like a soft color. Yeah, see now now I have made it now we have made a simple calculator okay now I will show you in the future how to create a scientific calculator